Installing porous pave can be done by anyone with proper training. Here are the steps to complete a successful installation. We recommend organizing a site visit to confirm measurements and review any potential hurdles with the installation. This could include access, base prep, transporting materials from the mixing area to the installation site, or even unloading the trucks as they show up to the job site. Communication with the client is essential. We like to make sure our clients know where we will start paving, how long each section will take to pour, and how we plan to overcome any potential hurdles. Before you begin mixing, look over the mixing site and make sure you set up any tarps around the area if needed. Measuring your trail and marking where each pallet should cover is a good way of ensuring you have enough materials to finish the job throughout the installation. Check the base for proper compaction and grade and ensure all your tools are ready to begin pouring. Once you're ready to begin mixing, give an even coat of oil to your wheelbarrow and mixer. Then measure out the correct amount of binder for your mix. Insert the rubber and rock into the mixer and begin turning the paddles. With the paddles turning, place the binder into the mix. Let the paddles run for 60 to 90 seconds, then stop your paddles or dump the material into your wheelbarrow or other transportation device to be brought to the job site. Note that running your mixer for longer than two minutes may allow the material to absorb additional moisture, which may cause discoloration. Once the material has been transported to the installation site, place the material in the designated area and spread with a concrete placer or come along. When the materials have been spread, begin seesawing with your screed board over your form boards. If the area you are pouring is multiple pours wide, make sure to keep a wet edge by pouring multiple pours wide at a time. The easiest way to do this is to move your middle form board with you as you screed. Then replace the material with a shovel and flatten before finishing. We recommend having multiple short form boards so that you can use the previous form board to roll your edge without having to remove the screed board from the path. Utilizing a mix of hand troweling and bowl floating is the easiest way to create an optimal finish. In this application we utilize a rattle stick attachment to our bowl float. This vibrates the float and creates a smoother finish. Using soap and water mixture will ensure all your tools slide across the pavement without causing rough areas. As the soapy mixture begins to wear off, the material will become more sticky on your finishing tools. Another application of the soap and water mixture may be necessary. Viewing the finish from multiple angles is essential. From some angles the pavement may look perfect, but from other angles you may see a small spot that requires a bit more finishing. By viewing the area from multiple angles, you can ensure the material is properly finished. Once the material has been properly finished, an even mist of water is to be applied across the product. This will kickstart the curing process due to the moisture cured binder. If the project requires a multi-day pour, we recommend using a screed board as an endpoint to the day. Pour the material up to your screed board to create a 90 degree angle where you begin pouring the next day. When you finish for the day, it's essential to mark off your area using proper barricades or caution tape. Even with periodic oiling of the mixer, you'll notice a small buildup of materials each time you stop the mixer. Before the mixing crew leaves, it is highly recommended to perform an in-depth cleaning with brushes and metal scrapers. Once all the areas have been scraped clean, a light coating of biodiesel will reduce the strength of the bond between the product and the surface of your tools. For any other questions concerning installation methods, send an email to sales at porouspaveinc.com or send us a message on our website.